Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to download a country boundary shapefile from Google Earth Engine. So the first step is to load all the country boundary file. So I am defining a variable and giving a name it as countries. Inside that, you can see I have given the assets link. So if you want to find this assert link, you can simply in the search button you can type in boundary polygons and hit search so here two types are there one is simplified and one is detailed you can choose any among them so i'm going to use the simplified version so if you just click on it you can see it is a large scale international boundary polygon which is being provided by the united states department of state office of geography you can copy this asset which we'll be using in this script you can find the description about this data in the table schema you can find the attributes of this international boundary polygon so you can see here abbreviation country code country uh, i think its name na and this world region right let us close it and close it once again now we have copied the asset link now you just need to paste it here Once it is done, you can just click on run in order to load the world country level boundary. So now you can customize the colors also that we will be seeing later. So you can increase and decrease the opacity of the layer. Now after this, so we are going to filter it by the country of interest. For example, I might be interested in some countries. So let's first see which country and what name it is having so for example I am interested in Kenya if you use this inspector school tool so by using this inspector tool you can find the country name if you don't find it here in the maps you can just simply click on this uh, features in objects come down to features and here you can find it in properties so you can see the country code KE country name Kenya and the world region as Africa. So now we have got the country name as Kenya. Now let us get the country boundary for Kenya by filtering it. So now you can see here we are going to filter for Kenya. So once again I have selected the uh, I have I have defined a variable called as selected countries it's just a name. Inside that what we are going to do is we are going to call in the countries so here we have defined countries and after that I am using dot filter double e filter eq it's nothing but equal to so based on the country name you can see here you can see the find the country you can find the country name in this attribute country underscore na so in that I am just using Kenya to find it out okay now after that I'm just once again I'm going to add the Kenya boundary to the map so I'm defining map dot add layer and in that I'm using selected country so the selected country is Kenya and after that I am specifying the color that's green right now let us run the code now you can see the Kenya has been highlighted in green color over here if you just click on this layers you can remove the first layer that is the world country boundaries or you can also reduce the like this you can reduce the opacity so now you can see we have selected the country now let us see how to export this as a shape file so here the next step is we are going to export it to the Google Drive so in order to export it we are going to use the function export dot table dot to drive so it will be exported to drive using this function and next is the collection so collection is nothing but the selected country which we have already defined and in the description you can give any name to it so in this case I'm just giving a Kenya boundary and finally the file format so I'm going to choose SHP 
Now let us run the code once again. So the code has been successfully run. Now we just go on to the taskbar and here you can find the Kenya boundary. Now in order to export it to drive, click on run. So you can see here, task name if you want you can change it. You can choose a drive. So I have already created a folder in the Google Drive, named it as GEE, the folder folder name is GEE and here you can specify the or you can give the name for the shape file. So let it be as Kenya boundary and you can choose the file format. So I'm going to choose once again shape file. Now click on run. So you can see the progress over here in the taskbar. So it will be getting finished within a minute or so. So now you can see it has been completed. Let me open it in the drive. So you can see the files. Six files are available. Let us select all by using control button and let us download it. Now the file has been downloaded. Let us view it in Q QGIS. So let me first extract the file here. So the file has been extracted successfully. So now let us open it in the QGIS, add layer, add vector layer. So from here browse the file and here let me select the ESRI shape file Kenya boundary so like this you can download the country boundaries also so if you found this uh, video helpful please do give us a like please uh, give your valuable comments thanks for watching goodbye everyone